Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn about um, another lesson of capacitor, which is about charging and discharging of a capacitor. This is a starter work. So have a look on these graphs. And the situation is when an uncharged capacitor is connected to a battery, which graph shows the variation of charge with potential difference across the capacitor? So think about it. And if you find it out, then think about the next question as an extension. Pause this video and take one minute for your thinking. Well done if you come back with the right answer. So when we connect uh, an uncharged capacitor to a battery, it will start charging. So this is a charge versus voltage graph. So if, you, if the voltage has been increasing, um, what will happen to the charge or if uh, we can see will be the best uh, representation of this situation so yes the a is the best situation of this graph so rest of the graph b c d is in another different situation we will learn these graphs into uh, next slides so today we are going to learn about two circuits one is charging another is discharging so if you look into the circuit picture so the two circuits created by flipping the switch one way then the other so s1 is a switch for charging circuit and s2 is a switch for discharging circuit so you can see these are simple cd circuits so therefore current is the same all the way around the circuit if we will press switch S1, then battery will start charging the capacitor. And this is simple, a charging capacitor circuit. But when we will flip the switch S2, then the capacitor will be disconnected from the battery and the charge, the capacitor will start discharging through the circuit, um, through the switch S2. When the battery is connected and the capacitor is charging, the charge moves quickly to start with round the circuit to start with the gradu with and gradually slow down slows down what's the reason that in the beginning the um, flow of charge is higher but at after passing some times you can think of this question why uh, this uh, the current slows down well done if you um think correct so as charge builds up on the plates it gets harder and harder for the remaining charge to move around the circuit remember there is an electrostatic repulsion between the similar charges as well so therefore it moves more slowly and according to the equation i is equals to q divided by t current must decrease as the time passes so the current slows down gradually if you look into these graphs, um, so the scenario is charging a capacitor. So which graph is correct? Um, so this graph is versus current times time. Um, I naught is the initial current and T is the time. So pause this video and think about it, which graph will be correct. Well done. If you come up with the right answer, the correct answer is B graph because the current decreases exponentially, not at the steady rate. Because in, if you look into the A graph, this is decreasing current at the steady rate, at the constant rate. But the current basically decreases exponentially. So the charge flows more and more slowly as it gets harder and harder to add it to the plate. So the charging and discharging the flow of current is not constant rate. So it, it, it is at different speed, different rates. So in the beginning, it decreases fastly, but as the time passes, the it becomes harder and harder for the flow of charge. What would you think? What would what would the corresponding voltage time graph look like for potential difference across the capacitor? So this is the current times graph. What would you think for the voltage time graph? So you can draw in your rough work and you can pause the video. Well done if you get the correct answer. So this is the voltage time graph. So as the time is increasing, the pot potential difference across the place, plates of the capacitor is increasing. So potential difference is increasing. So again, it's not increasing at the constant rate. So we will get, get the curve. Um, the voltage across the capacitor would increase at the decreasing rate. At the start of charging, it is easy to load up the charges on the plate. But it is increasingly difficult to increase the potential difference across them as the charging continues. So we will get this graph. 
what would the current and voltage curves look like for discharging and why? So think about it, the charging, the situation for the charging circuit and how it would be opposite for the discharging circuit. So you can pause this video and think about it, the current. So if, if you look into the circuit diagram, so now the capacitor is disconnected from the battery and S2 switch is open to discharge the capacitor. What would you think? What would happen to the voltage? Will it decrease? What would happen to the current? Will it decrease or increase? Think about it. Pause this video and um, think about your um, conclusion. Well done. If you um, get the correct answer, the potential difference between the two plates will be opposite now. Because in the beginning, when the capacitor is fully charged and it is disconnected from the battery, then the potential difference between the two plates is very high um, to start with. So causing the charge charges to rush around the circuit. The excess electrons on the negative plate are very attracted to the excess of protons on the positive plate. So as the positive plate becomes less positive, the electrons are less attractive to it and so don't move as quickly, causing the decrease in potential difference to occur at a slower rate. So this is the voltage time graph during discharging of capacitor. So for the current, um, for the current graph is same for charging and discharging because this is the flow of electrons. So only the difference will be the direction otherwise the current graph would be it would look exactly the same as before for charging circuit the push provided by potential difference between the capacitor plates is decreasing exponentially meaning the charges slows down exp ex exponentially the only difference is that the current is running in the opposite direction sometimes this is shown by using negative current values or causing the graph to flip in the x-axis so only the direction is different, um, I0 or minus I0, but basically the current will decrease exponentially in during charging and during discharging as well. Right, so look at these two graphs and come up with your conclusion, which of these charge over the capacitor time graph is for charging and which of is for discharging. So we have seen the current times graph, voltage time graph. Now this is a charge versus time graph. So what do you think? Which one will be for charging circuit and which graph will be for discharging circuit? So pause your video, think about your answer. Well done if you get the correct answer. So this is for discharging because in discharging the charges over the plate um, gets flow through the circuit. So during this charging, um, it starts with a lots of charge across the plates and gradually decreases. But for in the situation of charging, when there is an uncharged capacitor, there is no potential difference across the battery. So um, during charging circuits, the electrons with the, the plates with no charge across the plates and the charge gradually increases across the plate. So we will get increasing graph during charging and we will get decreasing graph during discharging circuit. Right, so there are two curves. The red line shows the increasing uh, with the time and the green line shows the decreasing curve. So you can pause this video and think about different scenarios. So which curve represents current, during charge and discharge, voltage during charge and discharge, and charge during charging and discharging circuit. So pause this video and come up with your answer. You just need to tell me which uh, graph red or A or B will fulfill the situation. So pause this video and come up with your conclusion. Well done if you get the correct answers. So you can see current during charges charging is B, it is decreasing. And current during discharging is B as well. As I told you in the previous slide, during both discharging and charging circuit, the current, the rate of flow of charge decreases because it becomes harder and harder. It is exponential decrease. Uh, voltage during charger charging circuit is A because it is increasing. Voltage during discharging is B because it decreases. 
charge during a uh, during a charge during charging circuit is a because it increases and charge during discharging circuit is curve b because it decreases okay now we will learn about the time constant what does it mean by the time constant so time constant is the time how long it will take to discharge or or charge a capacitor or discharge a capacitor it depends on various uh, factors it depends on the capacitance of a capacitor it depends on the resistance of a circuit so time constant the gradient of the exponential discharge and charge graph are dependent on two variables uh, resistance and capacitance so what do you think happened to charge and discharge graph when we increase one of these two values and why i will attach my practical video with this lesson as well so when you can see um, by changing the value of resistance or by changing the capacitor we can increasing the charging and discharging time or decrease it okay it depends on the value of the resistance and capacitor so what will happen if i will increase the resistance so if you increase the resistance it will make it harder for the electrons to flow around the circuit causing charging to take longer so the gradient will decrease it will take long time to discharge a capacitor okay and what will happen if you increase the capacitance if you increase the capacitance means more charge is needed to fully charge the capacitor it it, it the capacitor need, has a more capacity to store more charge so also causing the charge to take longer and therefore gradient decreases so we learned that time constant depends on two factors so resistance and capacitance and you can increase by if you increase the resistance your time constant will decrease your gradient will decrease and similarly with the capacitance uh, we combine these two values to produce the time constant for a specific circuit, which is T equals R times C. The higher the time constant, the longer a capacitor in a circuit will take to charge. And so the lower the gradient of the exponential graph will be. So using dimensional analysis, can you work out what the unit for the time constant should be? Obviously, this is a time, so the unit for the time will be seconds. Okay, the time constant. So th there is some um, authentic value for that. We say that time constant for a circuit is defined as the time in seconds required to charge to 63% of the applied voltage. It means like whatever voltage you have applied across the plate, across the capacitor plate, it will take 63% to charge that type of voltage. The time required to charge up to 63 of that voltage, 63% of that voltage, that will be your time constant. In other way around, if the time required to discharge of 37% of the initial voltage, for example, if you have given the uh, 12 voltage battery, then how long it will take to charge the capacitor of the 63% of 12 voltage. That's just an example. So if you look into the graph, it will tell you that how long it will take to charge or um, charge up till 63 voltage or discharge up till 37 voltage. Um, we need a little mathematical skills to drive these relationships. So this is the equation for the exponential decay curve. This equation is given, you don't need to worry about that from where this equation comes up so v is the voltage and v naught is the initial voltage and e is the exponential um, description of the um, this relationship so how can we rearrange this equation to calculate t or rc so because you can see time and rc is the exponential value so if you take a natural log on both sides then you will be able to find out so an exponential equation is the same as any other when rearranging it always do the same to both sides the inverse or opposite of e is the natural logarithm written ln and found on your calculation so if you take we rearrange it v equal v divided by v naught equals e power minus t over rc you take natural log on both sides um, if you have not done this um, derivation in maths 
then it could be a little a problem for you but I just um, I want to repeat it when you take the natural log of exponential things so it becomes its power comes as a constant and L and E equals one so by using this relationship and little calculation you can rearrange this equation for time or you can rearrange this equation for RC so this calculation is important because uh, we will use these equations in our numerical questions. So if you don't understand this, you can pause this video and you can um, do a little mathematics practice for that. Similarly, by starting with these equations, if the voltage of this charging capacitor is drop off at the rate of this V equals V naught E power minus T over SC RC, what happened to the charge on its plate? So what equations relates the voltage and charge of the capacitor? So if you start from this equation, Q equals CV. So if you put V equals V naught exponential T over RC, you will get this equation. And if you want to change this equation as a Q, then by changing Q equals um, Q naught equals CV naught. So CV naught equals Q naught. So you can put Q equals Q naught minus C over RC. So this equation will be used in terms if you are given by charge and then you have to find out the value of T over RC. So by using the equations of voltage, we have derived this equation for charge. So how does current changes with time? Uh, a capacitor, when a capacitor discharges, voltage, voltage and charge drop exponentially. What happens to the current in the circuit? So current is equal to the charge passing a fixed point per second. It is same at every point in the circuit. So when the capacitor starts discharging, the charge drops quickly. So the current is high in the beginning. As the capacitor discharges, the charge drops more slowly to the current drops too until the charges on the plate are balanced again and the current is zero. So similarly, by using this equation, V equals IR, and using equation V naught exponential T over RC, you can drive the relationship in terms of current. I equals I naught exponential power minus T over RC. Similarly, discharging a capacitor collection now calculation, now we will do some calculations. So here are some questions. For the first question, calculate the time constant of the circuit. You are given the capacitance, 250 microfarad. Remember to change it to the micro is equal to tens per minus six and kilo tens per three. So a resistance is 100 kilo ohms. So by using the equation time constant, you can find out um, uh, the time constant. So pause this video and calculate your uh, values. Okay, well done. If you have done all your questions, here is the marking schemes and answers for these questions. All of these equations we have find out in the previous slides. So well done if you get the correct answer. If not, you can do it again. So your homework for this lesson is um, I have attached the pack sheet. You have to look into that. Watch the practical video that would help you to understand this uh, charging and discharging capacitor circuit and complete the attached questions. Thank you for watching this lesson.